Okay, so this is cryogenic crisis. I think we can still decide on a name. It's not set in stone. It's going to be 10 episodes. Hopefully this is good. So this is about a man who's going through a crisis. Episode 1 is in the year 2024. The man stood in the middle of his new flat. Staring at the blank walls that seemed to echo the emptiness inside him. The place was smaller than he remembered. Of course everything felt smaller now. Life had a way of shrinking when you lost the things that made it feel large. The memories came flooding back as he moved through the space. Her laughter, the way the sun lit up her face when they first met. And Hunter's tiny hands gripping his thumb as he took his first step in the old apartment down the hall. That what year that was years ago. Now it was just him, alone. The move back to the old complex had been impulsive a decision he made in the fog of sleepless nights after the breakup. Maybe it was an attempt to hold on to something familiar in a world that seemed to be changing faster than he could keep up, or maybe he was just too tired to start over somewhere new. The truth was, he didn't know how to navigate this new life and the idea of doing it in a place that didn't have some trace of what he'd lost felt unbearable. It wasn't just a breakup that had him feeling lost, the world itself felt strange and alien. Technology was advancing at a pace that left him breathless, out of sync with the people around him, who seemed to adapt without effort. Social media had become a labyrinth of polished lives and shallow connections that he couldn't quite bring himself to participate in. The more he tried to connect, the more isolated he felt. And then there was Hunter, his little boy, who was now living with his mother, caught in the middle of a life his father couldn't piece together. Every day was a struggle. The morning came too soon and the nights lasted too long. He documented it all, journaling to keep himself from unraveling trying to make sense of a world that no longer made sense to him. His entries were filled with musings about the past, the future, the strange limbo that he found himself in. The one constant was Hunter. These thoughts always circled back to his son. The guilt of not being there gnawing at him. He knew he had to figure out a way forward, but every path seemed to be blocked by the weight of his failures. Then one night, as he lay in bed, sleep eluding him as usual, he felt an odd sensation. It was a pressure, a heaviness, that pulled him down into the mattress. His vision blurred, and the room spun around him. Panic set in as his limbs grew heavy, and his thoughts became sluggish. The last thing he saw before everything went black was a digital clock. On his nightstand, the numbers flashing 3 a.m., in a cold blue light. When he awoke, the air was thick, almost metallic, and the light that filtered through the window was an unnatural shade of red. Disorientated, he stumbled out of bed and looked around. The flat was different, futuristic, yet dilapidated, like it had been abandoned for centuries. Confused, he stumbled to the window, pulling back the blinds to reveal a cityscape that was nothing like the one he knew. Skyscrapers pierced the sky like jagged teeth and strange hovering vehicles zipped through the air. His heart raced as he tried to comprehend what he was seeing. Where was he? It took him a while to piece together the truth, but eventually he realized what had happened. Somehow, inexplicably, he had been thrust into the future. The year was 3050. His mind reeled at the thought. What had become of his life? His son, the world he knew. He had ended up here. He wandered the streets searching for answers, but finally only more questions. The city was cold, impersonal, filled with people who looked human but behaved in a ways that were utterly foreign to him. He felt more lost than ever. Then as he turned a corner, he saw him a boy, no older than Hunter, 
had been when he last saw him. Standing in the shadows of a derelict building, the resemblance was uncanny. It was like looking at his son. But not quite. The boy's eyes were hard, his expression guarded. But there was something familiar in the way he held himself. Something that made the man's heart skip a beat. Hey, he called out, his voice trembling. The boy looked up at his narrowing as he took in the stranger before him. The man felt a lump form in his throat. Hunter? The boy frowned, shaking his head. Who's Hunter? he asked. His voice edged with suspicion. My name's Finn. The man stared at him, his mind racing. This couldn't be his son. The years didn't add up, but the resemblance. It was too strong to ignore. He had no idea how or why, but somehow he knew this boy was connected to him. He could feel it in his bones. Finn, the man repeated. The name foreign on his tongue. I'm, I'm, I'm your grandfather. Finn's eyes widened in disbelief, then narrowed again, and he took a step back. You're crazy, he muttered. My grandfather's been dead for years. The man's heart sank, the weight of everything crashing down on him. He had missed it all. His son growing up, becoming a father himself, living a life he would never know. And now here was a relic of, of, a, of a past that no longer existed, facing a future he couldn't possibly understand. Maybe, he said quietly, more to himself than to Finn, maybe I am. The boy stared at him for a long moment, then turned and ran, disappearing into the shadows. The man didn't follow, he couldn't, all he could do was watch as the lost link to his old life slipped away. He was truly alone now, lost in a world that moved on without him. And as he stood there, <coughs> the cold reality of his situation sinking in, he knew one thing was for certain. This was, this was only the beginning to be continued. If you want to hear more, let me know, comment.